Because <coughs> here I go again. Uh, I uploaded a video previously that has that had no sound whatsoever, and I wanted to talk about a very important piece of docking software. Now I'm gonna have to do it again, which is no problem. Yet I want to thank you all for subscribing to this channel. I'm 30. Sorry, yeah, no, 38 uh, subscribers away from 1,000. Please subscribe, like, and thank you for your support. So let's get right back into this course. First of all, Bina. Autodoc Bina, which you can find here on GitHub. Yes, over here on releases, the latest version. But these executables only allow you to run it through the command line. Uh, I crafted a video recently where I show how to use Bina through UCSF Chimera. UCSF Chimera has an interface uh, not shown here, as far as I can see, but described in this page, that will help you run Dock. However, I don't think it's the best or easiest way to do it. For that, I want to direct you to Pyrex. Pyrex, or Python Prescription, is a graphical interface to Vina and Autodoc that allows you to run docking in a very efficient manner. Here on this page, you can go to Files, and you can get 0.09 version for Linux, but uh, 0.8 is available for Linux, Windows, and Mac. Mac up to Mojave, Windows 10 and 11, and Linux, I think it should work on anything that supports yeah, uh, x86 code. So knock yourselves out. With that uh, installed, Pyrex should look kind of like this. Oh, I'm going to move a couple of files to the desktop so we can run the docking. These files I'm going to use are just the PDBs for the receptor and a ligand. Just going to copy them. This came straight from the PDB database, so nothing fancy about them. Here we have the interface. Before digging into the interface, let me show you something. Once, once you start, you, once you install and start Pyrex, uh, it creates a folder, a hidden folder in your users and your username file folders that is called Pyrex. Inside of here, it's gonna we're gonna have a ligand and a macromolecule safe. Uh, this is the way it works. If your explorer is not configured to see hidden fold files and folders you are not gonna see this so be careful because it's here we get everything safe every result every like and every set so keep that in mind um, here we have the interface by default we have the Bina wizard also there's an autodoc and I'm just gonna run the, the Bina one and in a local execution as you can see it tells us go to the start button to begin and here we have the list of ligands and macromolecules that have been used in this uh, system. I'm going to select this one, but I'm going to delete it. I ran this docking previously, but I'm going to do it again. And the same for this ligand. Delete. As you can see, this, this is the way to remove results or, or exercises from here. I'm going to add ligands. I'm going to click here and select my PDV file, which I, is going to be prepared within the interface. Here we can see uh, our ligand retinol with only the hydrogen for the alcohol, the only one that can make hydrogen bonds and no other. And it appears as a selected ligand. Next, I'm going to add a macro molecule, which is going to be the PDB for the receptor, which in a similar fashion is going to be prepared because this crystal structure had uh, several side chains with different conformations. I get this window, but I already cleaned that up, so there's actually only one, and I'm going to click OK. And we get a similar preparation. You will notice that not every atom in the protein has hydrogen. It's only those that can create hydrogen bonding are kept. And because of these two structures, the receptor and the ligand coming from the crystal structure, the correct result is already there. Now it says here that there's two macromolecules selected. I'm going to make sure that I only select one. Mm -hmm. One ligand selected, one macromolecule selected. Well, I hope, oh, it crashed. Mm. Well, 
Luckily, we prepare our ligand and receptor already, so the crash shouldn't be that important. As I mentioned, they get saved here, so we have one GXA as well as RTL. Uh, yes, start, select RTL, one GXA, one ligand. We could have selected, or we could still select several ligands and run the docking. And I'm going to do just that in this example. Clicking Control on my keyboard, I also selected BPS. So we have two ligands selected and one receptor. And what Pyrex is going to do is run the docking for BPS first and then for RTL. So click on Forward. This is one of the things I like about uh, Pyrex is that it allows you a lot of control over the parameters of the box gonna make it smaller over here and here not a lot here we have the ligands uh, ready and in the parameters I'm gonna change the exhaustiveness to 10 notice if you run Pina inside Chimera your maximum exhaustiveness is gonna be 8 10 I think it's the minimum uh, if I was to run a screening or something more important I would probably go for a hundred or 500 but using a cluster and I'm going to go for 3 for the number, you know, 5 for the number of modes, or 10, and let's go for 10. This number, uh, actually exhaustiveness is the one that is more critical in the sense of how strict the docking is going to be, how many attempts, and the number of modes actually will, I will have to, I will recommend you go read the Vina paper to see which were the number of modes that contain the correct result with the higher frequency and then decide, uh, probably between 5 to 10, I think. I'm going to click OK, and then I'm going to go forward. And here is where the locking begins. Uh, we can see from the command line that it's BPS, the first one, because my uh, exhaustiveness is low, it's running very fast. And once this docking is done, it's going to move on to the retinol. We didn't even get to see the result. This is retinol. Mm -hmm. But as you can see, the preparation was super easy, minimum use introversion, and fast. And here we have a list of the results. Remember, because we selected 10, there's a long list of 10 results for PPS and then 10 for RTL. Within this interface, we can even select uh, the columns and sort them. For example, from the highest affinity in the case of retinoic acid. And here we see the structure of this result. then PPS and RTL and retinol. Uh, that was pretty quick, pretty easy. We ran two dockings. Uh, one found the binding site, well, whereas the other didn't. Uh, but the analysis within Pyrex is not as good. Running, preparing, executing, that is super easy here. For the analysis, I will actually go here to the macromolecules, to the yeah, macromolecules inside the 1GXA are the results labeled as out. And I'm going to copy those to the desktop. Uh -huh. And this uh, I will always prefer to analyze with Chimera. Oh, I think I opened the wrong Chimera version. Oh, that was not so bad. I'm going to open. 1GXA PDV, perfect, and then on tools, uh, surface and binding analysis, view doc, and here I'm going to select both of these results. Mm -hmm. You notice I get two windows, one for BPS and one for RTL, which is the ligand, and because I have the ligand, I separated when preparing for the stocking. I can probably open it. Uh -huh, here it is, and compare the results. 
as you can see the best result is slightly different not exactly matching the next one is much better at least on this ring and on the conjugated uh, bonds over here uh, this one flips it <laughs> this one fits very well here but the p 8 over here so i think first and second result are probably the, the best and the energies are very similar so it's hard to distinguish between these two uh, bps on the other hand is not on the binding side but on, in an exterior side oh actually there's a couple of cases where it's located in the binding side lower energy at least two kilocalories from the retinoic acid and here you go, this is a way you can use Pyrex to improve your docking workflow, not only to dock one ligand, but a series of ligands, get the results and have quick analysis versus a very, a little bit easier, more detailed analysis that you can for, perform on USC, the USCSF camera. Thank you for watching, like, subscribe, leave a comment and see you around soon.